Hello Africa, welcome to the Amy Bala TV show live from Yaoundé, the nation's political capital. Today we have the opportunity to talk to the country officer of the World Food Programme, Mr. Abdullahi Balde, who is here to present a strategic plan that's going to cut a whole lot of problems Cameroon is facing in terms of taking care of refugees in the far north region, the north region, the Adamawa and the east region of Cameroon. It's just such an honor to talk with such a personality, but most importantly retain the information did you know that a huge number of Cameroonians still do suffer from malnutrition in the 21st century? Oh my, it's hard to believe, but it's true. So we will right away go meet Mr. Abdullahi Badi and he will tell us a whole lot we need to do to fight against malnutrition and take care of the internally displaced persons, shall we? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. My first question will be, what is the strategic plan and what does the strategic plan consist of? Well, this is the new picture in the new Bible, you know, the Quran of WFP in Cameroon. Okay. This is a place where we're going to put together all our objective in this country to make it known to people what is WFP going to do based on what. The first thing is, this strategic plan is a follow-up to a to a zero hunger strategic review done by the academics with the government with support from WFP. What they did is they went around Cameroon, did investigation to address to, to identify what are the root causes of malnutrition and food insecurity in Cameroon over the last many years, and they come up with a number of recommendations, and that goes from providing food to those who don't have it to building dams, to educating people, changing the curriculum, changing the way of people are eating. But WFP looked into this study and decided that a number of recommendations fit properly, squarely into our mandate, our capacities, our expertise. So we agree with the government what WFP is going to do. We're focusing on putting people who were so far in food assistance, we are going to help the small farmers, we're going to help education, we're going to help nutrition education, opening small markets, and, and bringing in cooperation, collaboration with all people who want to do something in this domain. And we, it's a three-year program, a very coherent program, which comes with a price tag of $180 million dollars over the three years. Permit me to read this from a document I received uh, during the press lunch in Yaoundé, December 8, 2017. 40% of Cameroon's 23.7 million people live below the poverty line. And human development indicators remain low. Poverty has a strong regional dimension concentrated in north, far north Admawa and east <coughs> regions of the Republic of Cameroon. In Cameroon's northern region, situated on the Sahelian band, communities are the most deprived as a result of years of su successive natural disasters and below average harvest with the means to resist the continuous cycle of shocks and stresses. Now what are you doing at the Warford program to ensure that you 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 you, you enhance the livelihood of the refugees without yet offering help to them at all times. Are there any initiatives through which you educate them and empower them to become the bosses of themselves? Yes, we are doing that. First we help them at the first step to feed themselves. When they stand on their feet, we're doing a number of activities. In in the north, it's an extreme far north of Cameroon, mm -hmm. we're doing dams, small water catchments. Mm -hmm. We're doing agricultural schemes with the government. We are supporting with our friends and, 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 and brothers in FAO provision of seed, mm -hmm. improved seed to the population. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we are feeding kids in school because when you feed the kids in school, they are able to learn. So we are giving them a foundation mm -hmm. to, to do better for themselves, for their families, for the community and the nation in the long term. Mm -hmm. We are not alone. We are working with NGOs that are already in the, on the ground with the people in the very remote area of Cameroon, mm -hmm. where they are working with them to, to plant trees in some places. Mm -hmm. To, to, to minimize erosion of the land and retain the water that they are there. Mm. And others are teaching them how to do better crops. And we have sent no less than 10 or 15 people to Israel mm. to learn different techniques, techniques that are taught in, in, in Israel okay. on how to produce in arid land. And they come back 
go back to their communities and go back to their services, technical services, and continue to use the learned technique in Israel and, and produce it. So we are supporting and accompanying people to start building their resilience, as we say, to be able to bounce back after the shocks has been there. That's quite a laudable initiative because in Cameroon, doing agriculture is a dirty job. Now, have you any plan? Have you any roadmap? And how will you, through this plan, channel safe and nutritious food to vulnerable households in protracted displacement communities at risk and chronic food in secure areas? Well, we do have plans. I think we not only we are providing food, but we are also working with the smaller producers, mm -hmm. transformers, or processors to, to, to provide food that is fortified. Not okay. only you eating cassava flour, but the cassava flour has vitamins, minerals, and iron. So you eat like a normal cassava flour, but you are better nourished. Mm -hmm. This is what we are doing. What challenges must be addressed for you to achieve your goal within the time frame? I think the, the major challenge is security. If we talk about it's far north here, and if we have security and safety of the population, then you can start working with them on a long-term program. They're not displaced, they stay home. That's one. Two, I think education must be continued, reinforced, that we teach our children some technique that will allow them to take over the responsibility of producing. Otherwise, everyone will be running to Yaoundé or to Douala, doing you know, jobs that allow them to live on a day-to-day -day basis, but they will never have a chance to go back. Three, cooperation, collaboration. WFP alone cannot do much. We are just visitors. We are welcomed by the government. We have to support the government services at all levels and the community to do this on their own and we support. Today is still the 2017 edition of the 16 Days Activism Against Gender-Based Violence Against the Woman and the Girl Child. Are there any specific moves you engaged in to ensure that the right of the girl child and the woman in this displaced areas and the four regions where you target are taken into consideration? Our targeting criteria include gender factors. We give the food to the woman in the family. Mm -hmm. In fact, if a man has two wives, we give the ration to each of the wives for the children that he is responsible for, mm. and we give to the man his only ration up to him to take it wherever he wants. So mm. the women are empowered, and you may see when you go, the women have their own telephone, and I think now the men are behaving better. Thank you so much, Mr. Barbe, for Thank talking to much. Amy Banda and the Amy Banda TV show. And together we say no to hunger. No to hunger, no to gender bias violence. Thank you so very much. And that's it. We hope you retain the necessary information that you need to move on. We do a job, and the job is to inform you on the latest. And now you do the rest. You don't get deformed, and you make good use of the information. Wishing you a lovely weekend. You keep saying no to hunger. You say no to gender-based violence. And of course, you make it count in every move you make. Emi Banda, reporting from Yaoundé, the nation's political capital of Cameroon.